Hey, okay. so how long you been doing comedy? About three weeks. But I'm a natural, ain't I? Shoot. So what kind of comedy you plan on doing? The funny kind, man. What else? Oh, don't encourage her. Hey, anybody going after their dreams, I'm encouraging. Don't. Why she hate me? Thank you. That's what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be a five-tool threat. Acting, comedy, improv, you know what I'm saying? Brand management, everything. That's four points, Fresh. You gotta pick one point. Like back in the day, I wanted to be an architect until I found out I had a really good chance of being a ball player. See, jack of all trades, master of none. DJ, you grew like 1,800 feet in the sixth grade. We knew you was gonna be good at basketball. I gotta find my own lane, you feel me? <laughs> she kinda got a point. Hey, check this one out. I've been working on this for a minute. Hey, what's the deal with gifts? How you pronounce them things? Like one sounds like a G, the other looks like a J. It's totally different. Show a friend, man. You embarrassing me in I, front of company. I'm still workshopping that one, yo. <laughs> That's still under construction. It's not the final Fix joke. Fix that. This that part one. Raptors look to take charge at the Air Canada Centre here in downtown Toronto. Doors two terrific defenses going at it tonight. Most people expect a low-scoring contest. How do you go about getting points in a game like this? Well, against high-caliber defenses, one thing you have to do is be patient, work your offense into the second and third options, but most importantly, Kev, you've got to take care of that rock. And it's the Cavaliers to start out. And when the defense isn't there, Greg, you really open up the All right, guys. The well, welcome back to 2K. Yeah, easy call. Um, all right, so... This is like halfway through the season as my episode one, because I was planning to do, and what I did do, is I gathered all the videos, and now I'm going to release them one by one, so you guys don't have to wait like so long for the next episode. I've already got the content. Um... But this is like halfway through the season. For some reason, the videos just like deleted themselves, um, which really sucks. Get the steal here, giving it to Duro, easy layup, guys cash, scored what career high 45 points yesterday against the 76ers. I think he's just scratching the God, surface on that he's a end. beast. Um, but, yeah, it, it sucks, but you guys are going to have to deal with it. As you can see, my guy's white. Um, I was finally able to uh, get the face scan. Because before, I couldn't get the face scan because the damn app wouldn't work. But anyways, in this game, I'm like a 75 overall. By the end, I'm like... And that 85. Is company that DJ but, um, Jordan, the original Gatorade man, yeah, but this game is like way harder than last year to well, progress. So it's ridiculous. It's like a lot of pay to win stuff. But, but um, uh, well, I guess not even exactly pay to win. It's just weird. On that last three pointer. Three pointer um, yeah. shot. Kyle Lowry oh, just splashing threes. He's well, splashing Kyle threes now. Probably won't be in the playoffs because that dude's a choke. But anyways, but yeah. Oh my God! I just blocked LeBron. Oh my God! That was amazing. If you can block LeBron in your rookie season, you're you're. Beast. I'm gonna brick that three right there. He's bringing it up. Kyle Korver. What are you doing inside? You can't. No. The only thing you can do is shoot threes, my guy. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I hate this mechanic in 2K18. If you get the ball past you, or if you pass the ball to somebody, and there's a defender on them, they just lose the ball. It's ridiculous. So you can't pass balls inside the paint anymore, or else like, it's an immediate turnover. Even if the guy catches it, he just fumbles and drops it. It's ridiculous. 
Now here's LeBron. Um, but yeah, the sorry the, game for the doo doo haircut in this video. I won't be scoring much in this video either, but you know, LeBron James is just a beast. I don't like, you, know, you can't stop him. He's the best player of all time. Giving it to JV, he's gonna miss that, but rebound and put it back in. Kind of mad, kind of salty about that. Didn't get an assist. But, you know, Corver's gonna hit a jumper. Lucky shot. We're down by two. Bring it up. Alright, Sham. Sham Wow. Giving it to Shammy wet like water. You are wonderful. Why does 2K always make players and put them into teams? It kind of sucks because all the people that you want have to have more minutes can't because that person has to have minutes. And they always make them so cheese. Like they'll they'll hit so many shots and then they'll be so inconsistent. It's kind of dumb. Oh, this is size. Ooh. Passing to Lowry, he should have shot it. He's wide open. But that's okay. I'll get get the rose in the points. Ooh, and one. And one on the blind. Merry Christmas, by the way, guys. Christmas. Uh, I, I had a snow day today. And the next two weeks are holiday, so that's pretty lit. Uh, and happy Hanukkah, all you Jews over there. Respect you, respect you. Look at this, though. Pulling up. Splash. Wet like water. My archetype is actually pretty wet. Like, he can shoot threes, even though he's a slasher. He's also, well, he's a um, shot creating slasher. But he can shoot threes. Like, like his three point rating, I think, maxed out is like 75 or something. Maybe higher. I'm not sure. But, I mean, like, he can drain some threes. You pass it to him wide open, green light. Easy. Um, yeah. I'm, I, at this point, I'm really good. Like, not at this point, as in this video, but by the end, you'll, you guys are going to see me really good. Kevin. Another quick start here in this first half. What has been the key the last few games? Oh, uh, D.A., you know, my, my teammates have done a great job of, of getting me in a rhythm early on in the game. Uh, if I get a few touches early on, you know, I feel more engaged, and it just it builds from there. I mean, this whole team does a great job of believing in one another and setting each other up for success. Well, so far, so good tonight. Thanks. Guys, back to you. The issue draws the contact time and All right, time guys. Again. Is the four, Third quarter. Let's go. Middle. Ari out there with a train. This. And it's DeRozan thinking of the pulling, but so that's the five in the game for Toronto. I'm not going to risk it. My three pointer was like a 60 at this point. Well, I can shoot the mid range, all right. Though, just recently, I've been able to actually master the mid range. Because this game was really cheesy, because I had to find a jump shot. And the jump shot I found eventually, which was very recently. Uh, is I got I got the jump shot creator so I can basically just instead of buying the jump shots just make a pure jump shot for free in the creator so I just got the Michael Jordan jump shot because I mean I'm not paying five thousand dollars for a jump shot if I can get it free off the creator and I got the um I think it's like athletic 12 pull up and uh, it, it's kind of like the Michael Jordan pull up that used to be in the game but yeah as you can see here I get fouled a lot well, not too much in this game because I didn't figure out that's really a big part of my archetype I can draw fouls like James Harden in this game like it's crazy like I had one of my games I had 30 points straight from the foul line it's insane um 
The pass to A train. Right, going up court. Passing it to Lara in the corner. That's what. That's easy. Yeah. You don't mess with that. But yeah, I got that, and now it's like straight greens. It took me a while to figure out the jump shot and everything, but I finally have, and it's okay now. And <laughs> this game can be really hard to, to figure out the jump shot. Why do they change the meter every year, too? Like, are they trying to make us, like, have to learn the whole game again? It's really annoying. They should just stick to a meter, find a meter people liked, and stick to it. I don't hate this meter. I kind of like it because you're not looking at your feet the whole time. You're looking at the, the basket because it's nice and high up. But, I mean, I know you're not supposed to look at the meter, blah, 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 blah. but, you know, I do look at the meter and I also... There was some talk of him going to the Knicks. Uh, I feel when I'm supposed to release, so. I mean, I do both. And I hit greens, so it's okay. As you get out, they're coming back here. They're in the lead now. We were up by double digits before. Screen in LeBron. Oh, that's, that's... That is his shot. God, DeRozan's amazing. Back on defense, back on defense, covering Shumpert, there's Isaiah Thomas, I'm excited, I'm hyped to see Isaiah come back, I hope he's going to be the same Isaiah we saw last year, I hope he's not going to be like Derrick Rose now, like, yeah, I hope he's still good, because things like this can be really scary for some of his career. Injuries are never a good sign of anything. Screen for DeRozan. Oh, oh, that's why. Oh. Usually goes in though. Doesn't matter how caught it is. Let's it go from 11. Shumpert, no good. Toronto trailer. Passing it to DeRozan. Oh, pulling up. Man. That's, that's why they want shots. That's like. He's a god, guys. What, can, what else can a man say about Thomas DeMar DeRozan? To he's a god. He's, he's standing on the mouth of Kobe Bryant, who was off. And Michael Jordan. And LeBron James is also off. Michael Jordan. LeBron's better. But he still studied Michael Jordan. So. Going up, that's why. And sometimes I can get fouled on that call and get an easy and one. But you'll see me missing these free throws in this game, which, which is an L. Because, yeah. At least last year. Like last year, you couldn't hit a single free throw because you had to. God, that was terrible. You're like a 90. Eight overall, and you've got like a 50 overall free throw. It was ridiculous. But I guess the more free throws you shoot in this game, the more uh, the higher your percentage goes, which is nice. In this, I'm only at like a 75 free throw. But this is getting pretty intense. Giving it to DeRozan. DeRozan's slapping it out. Thomas is pulling up. No. DeRozan on the rebound. Oh, step back. Sizing up. Sizing up. Pull back. Oh. Pump fake. Passing to me. Going up. Almost and one. Almost in. But here come the free throws. These should be wet. These should be wet. These should be easy. Look at this. Trying to hit him with a Euro step, but Thompson's just pushes me to the floor. I'm not that heavy, but I'm not that light. That's wet. And that's wet. Oh, no. Nope. A lot of the time I got so mad at these free throws. Like, yeah. Corver's got it. He's pulling up. That's a brick. 
And what is this 2K? 2K. What was that? Wide open. Easy rebound. And he just drops the ball off his knee. Going up and slamming it down, my guys. Going up and slamming it down. Wasn't that impressive as a dunk of a dunk to hand, but... I mean, it costs to have Shots dunk packages, in. and the this day you have to pay for everything in this game, one, so I didn't, I hadn't gotten around to it yet. Kevin, I'm just using the default. Kyle Lowry's going to miss a free throw, and that's going to be the game. The <sighs> Damn. So but, this one. what's next? Great game, DJ. Thanks. Listen, the guys in the studio want to talk to you. Okay, let's right. do it. Right this way. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. And welcome back to the studio here on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith in a moment to speak with our post game guest who's standing by on headset near the locker rooms. Hey, what's up? It's the Jet. You were dropping dimes left and right out there. Now, how were you able to rack up so many assists against their defense? You know, Kenny, it had a lot more to do with my teammates being locked in than my ability to create. Uh, they were coming off the screens and, and getting separation, and all I had to do was get them the ball. You know, Coach's offense has so many options, it just makes finding an open man really easy. I see. Everyone was open tonight. Good job of finding them. Appreciate you. And that's going to do it for tonight, for Kenny, for Shaq, for Kevin Harlan, wherever he is. This is Ernie Johnson saying good night. We'll see you again soon. So this will be my own shoe. Well, not exactly. You get your own custom colorway, but technically it's not a signature shoe. Okay, but I only rock one colorway? <sighs> Correct. Whatever colorway you decide on will be unique to you in the NBA. Not to mention that you'll get an added cash bonus for each game that you wear them. Dope. Okay, so what does he have to do to get his own signature shoe? That could be a future possibility if his colorway is something the fans get behind. Oh, so like proof of concept. Exactly. No problem. Which we have all the faith in the world that they will do. Of okay. <laughs> Sounds good, man. I'm ready to choose. Great. Oh, they're here. Here are the colorways for you to choose from. Colorway. That's right, guys. I got my own signature shoe. It's lit, my guys. Anyway, as I went with the PGs, making my own col colorway here, I went for the little, you know, Kind of, kind of red, red, little purplish blue. Oh, it's lit. Little patterns on it. Oh, oh, it's nasty. It's nasty, guys. Look at that. Oh, oh, that's nasty. Oh, and the gum soles too, my guys. Gum soles too. Easy choice. Excellent. These two. Uh, well, we should be able to have them ready by your next game. Awesome. Great. What happened to your other rep? <laughs> I jump in and help out whenever a player starts working his way up the ladder, like you have. We work with a lot of players and athletes at the ground level, but only a select few here at the top. Okay. Uh, if you say so, man. Um, whatever helps get me to my signature shoe. 